Hey everyone, Skyward Shield here, and I am an idiot. I actually accidentally deleted the f my save file there, which you know earlier, which is a good thing I suppose, because I had some permanent perks, you could say, from the old file. So it might have served me better. But anyway, I'm gonna go straight to Elite because I need something to kick my ass. Because I'm a total masochist, apparently. No, I just need a challenge, that way you guys at least want to see me slaughter everything, like it's a joke. I'm not going to go bothering with tutorials, we're going to jump straight right in, but just like the same issue with the old game, I have to stop uh, and start fraps every now and then between in between combat, so I need to get used to that. It's been a, f a few months since I played this game, actually, but anyway, I'm going to be doing the same thing like I promised with the original Battlefront Let's Play I had in mind. I just can't get back into that game. I had fun, don't get me wrong, but it just didn't seem as interesting. This one is a lot more fun because it's just so... It's more out there, because unlike the last game where you can keep attacking until you lose a fight, they, it will always alternate between you and the opponent, so... That's how it works, at least. Anyway, I'm gonna go from Republic Sovereignty to Birth of the Rebellion in chronological order, but regardless, let's move on and start... Or let's just jump right in. I'm not going to go into much tutorial aside from how this thing works. Basically, you pick a fleet, you have more than one, but however, you can only move one fleet per turn. You just can't have three fleets and move each one of them once, and then your turn ends. No, you pick one, it moves, and that's it. I'm actually thinking I'm going straight for Kashyyyk, but I might not. I'm thinking Megiddo might be the first option, not just because it's there, but to go all the way over here might not be such a great idea. I don't know. It's even worse. No, I actually have three planets. I have Coruscant, Naboo, Naboo and Camino. Camino. So at least it's more than one. Coruscant. Though you'd think Coruscant would be the key planet, but they they put Camino in priority. Oh well. Anyway, um, this is their fleet. This is mine. Let's just get things started with just one I'll little like briefing. That you start out with just a typical soldier and over time you gotta buy the other ranks. The one I'm gonna prioritize is either the engineer just cause auto healing in your vehicles and you can you have the broken shotgun or the sharpshooter because out of all the classes I use the sharpshooter the most. I'm good with, with that really. I had this fun multiplayer match. It's a good story but I'll talk about it when I get to Kashyyyk. Anyway, uh, these are the bonuses. Unlike in the old game you have to buy them but you don't at least have to conquer certain plans that have certain bonuses usable. So for now, I'm gonna get garrison bonus purchase. Garrison bonus purchase. two garrison bonuses, and then I'm gonna move on. To anyway, just like I said, I have to. Uh, Launching my Keto invasion. Like I'm gonna have to actually ch stop the. Um, I'm gonna have to stop the recording and restart it when the battle begins because fraps can't. Fraps in Battlefront never mix well for some reason. I have a bad feeling the new game's gonna do that too. Oh well. That's a, assuming there's a PC version, which there likely will be. I don't know, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Here we are. Let's get started. I'm gonna take that one over there. How do I change perspectives? Oh, wait, wait. I have to change a lot of controls, so I'm gonna have to cut this for a moment here. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to change everything. I not, I didn't just change a third person, I changed the controls on the fighter when we're in space. Because I don't like how they are in the... in the, um, by default, so... don't mind me. In this game you can actually sprint, which I really, really love. Oh shit, there is someone here already. Wow, that was quick. Oh well. Whoa, they are everywhere. And... As if battle droids or super battle droids weren't bad enough, they still have wrist rockets. I don't even know if those things actually do have wrist rockets in the in the show or in the movies, for that matter. Yeah, they have lasers, but I don't know. Oh, well, I need to take this one. Oh wait, we lost. It. Okay, we got it back. This game is kind of glitchy, but nowhere near as bad as the original can be. Which I've had, I've seen some glitches and I found some ones where I could actually camp and hide. Whoa, whoa. There are too many guys here and I end up killing my own. 
Wow, that was bad. Okay, this side's no good. I'm d and I lost one. I lost the middle one. We are winning barely, though. But is there? Yes, there is a tank. If I were the engineer, this would be no prob. They don't have the commands like in the original game where it's like get in or get out. Apparently, they are in here, but they're not. But I can't. I just can't seem to figure out how to use them. These things got nerfed, but at least they have. At least the you have unlimited ammo for in terms of missiles. Unlike the old game, you had to actually refill. You had to actually refill everything. I want to do online matches. Just maybe, maybe that'll help keep the game alive, the multiplayer alive. But yep, vehicles are still broken. Unless there's another vehicle out there, they're gonna. Whoa. Oh great, there's somebody over here, isn't there? Yep, there is. Oh yeah, the thing about this new game is that there are actually weak spots in certain vehicles. You have to figure it out on your own. Like, some I know, some I don't. Like, the that AAT that I just destroyed, I don't know what that one's weakness is. So, don't, a don't ask me, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can look up the weaknesses. But just don't expect me to know as much as I know quite a bit about this game. Yep, I love me the rockets. You're gonna rely more on the rockets and the lasers with this vehicle. This is probably my favorite vehicle out of the whole Re uh, Republic era. I like the AAT because it's just extremely powerful, but eh, it's just so lacking in other categories, at least to me. I'm gonna kill this guy. Ah, oh, god damn it! Take it back. I killed one of them. Oh, if only I got them all. I would have felt like I'm playing bowling and just took out three pins. I would have spare. I don't know. I, I want to play. I want to do bowling again. I suck at it though. I just can't. Th I can't throw the ball right. Apparently, better I curve it. And when I do throw it right, I curve it too much. So, oh well. I'll do one day. Assuming I kept playing it, but just. Never go that often. And bowling's not that bad. It's kind of fun. I used to be good at the Wii Sports one, though. I think I've mentioned it before in one of my videos from a long time ago, where I was like, I was at a friend's house in middle school. This was back when the Wii just came out, mind you. Uh, and um, well, I really want to. I want to take the AAT for fun. Hostiles have gained a command post. There's got to be somebody here. Oh well, I'm gonna go take this one. Oh, that's it. Okay, I'm going to be cutting the video here for a moment. We might have another battle. I don't know when I'm cutting things off, but you know, I'll just cut it now just so that way you got a taste of it. Well, I got Tank Buster, Killing Spree, and Public Enemy. Damn. See, vehicles are broken, I tell you. I got Endurance, War Hero, and Guardian. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a moment. Or I'll see you guys in the next video, just because this is a good intro. So I'll see you guys then. Or see you all in another video.